Record-setting investments and big commercial office deals are still happening in Silicon Valley. Yeah, that's uh, even though many of the buildings still sit empty because of COVID. As KPIX 5's Lower Ramirez reports, it's leading to a boomtown ghost town effect in San Jose. Well, there continues to be a lot of investment in Silicon Valley and San Jose, much of it for the long term. The question for a lot of smaller businesses, can they survive through COVID long enough to see the other side? In some parts of downtown San Jose, the only sounds you hear is the pounding and machinery of high rises going up. And most of the people on the sidewalks are construction workers. With most office employees still working from home, once busy streets and sidewalks have a ghost town effect. Yeah, I think it's uh, fairly dramatic. Um, you know, we have light foot traffic during the week. Randy Musterer owns two sushi restaurants, one downtown. So we are getting a uh, uh, some corporate, but definitely not what we're used to. But contrast that with this happening just a few blocks away. In one of the latest big office deals, a British investment company just paid what's believed to be a San Jose record price per square foot for three office buildings on Coleman Avenue in North San Jose. We've had in one week in Silicon Valley the largest office leases of the year in the United States and the largest investment sales of the of the year in the United States. There's Mark Ritchie says the buyers are all the top tech firms and extremely wealthy investors. It just shows the incredible global interest in investing in Silicon Valley to buy the real estate that's leased by the tech firms in anticipation of the post-COVID return to the workplace. But until then, it's still a struggle for the small businesses that feed the tech giants. Uh, small businesses are away from full recovery. And so while things are seemingly going in the right direction, uh, that's going to be top of mind as we, we look to some of these future investments. There's light at the end of the tunnel, uh, but is that, you know, a year from now, three years from now, or 10 years from now? No one knows the answers, but those who can afford to ride out COVID are putting their money down here. In San Jose, Len Ramirez, KPIX 5.